hi beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel today is day five of my 12 days of christmas makeup challenge we've already started but if you haven't checked day one up to four of my 12 days of christmas makeup challenge make sure you go check it out if you're also not subscribed to this channel make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you may get all the 12 days of christmas makeup that i'm going to be doing and lots more that are on this channel so let's just get back to the makeup i have applied a primer and specifically this is a makeup primer by maybelline and it's their fit me primer mattifying primer and i've just applied it all over my face with my fingers just a little bit like on my forehead and on my cheeks just to reduce the shine when i am applying my makeup so eyebrows normally define your face at least the shape of your face and how it will look so what i'm doing is that because i'm doing a grinch makeup look did i mention that this is a grinch makeup look of course you've seen it on the thumbnail but this is a christmas grinch makeup look and we are going to try and do something different from last year um last year i did a, a grinch makeup look but it will not look the same as this year so uh, uh what i've done is that i've just used the got to be glue gel and glued my eyebrows down and then now i'm going in with this concealer this is the illegal pro conceal concealer and this is the shade fawn and i'm just using it to cover up my eyebrows because normal human eyebrows do not look like grinch eyebrows grinch has very iconic eyebrows they are bushy and green so that is what we are going for and then after just dabbing in that concealer and letting it dry make sure you dry it fast i'm just going to apply this maybelline fit me setting powder that's in the shade cappuccino and i'm just going to like tap tap lightly on it and then uh we've covered our eyebrows so now we are going to do grinch eyebrows and the grinch we are going for is not the reformed grinch we are going for the original grinch <laughs> yeah because grinch the grinch did reform at the end of the movie but yeah so he has really mean looking eyebrows and that's what we are going for so i've just gone for a very high arc uh, a very high eyebrow arc and i've just drawn the outline of the eyebrow shape uh, using a black pencil and then i'm going to fill it in with this dark green pencil and in order to create dimension or give the eyebrows dimension i'm going to go in again with a different shade of green and then i will also go in with a third shade of green the lightest shade of green so this will make the eyebrows a bit you know have some depth to them I'm going to be using the same illegal concealer as my eyeshadow base so at least this concealer will help the eyeshadow stick to the uh, eyes properly to the eyelids properly so i've just applied it randomly and then i'm just using a brush to spread it out evenly and make sure that it is blended well with my skin and then after that i'll be color correcting my face before i apply my foundation so i'm going to be using this illegal uh, orange color corrector and this an orange color, color corrector is usually good for uh, neutralizing dark spots on your skin especially if you are dark skinned like me <laughs> And for foundation, I will be mixing two foundations, which is the Maybelline Superstay foundation in the shade Coconut. And I will be mixing the Rimmel Kind and Free foundation in the shade Mocha. And uh, the reason I mix these two foundations, one is the consistency. The Maybelline Fit Me Superstay is very, very thick. While the Rimmel Kind and Free foundation is sort of like a i can say it's a skin tint so it's very lightweight so by mixing the two at least i get like a good not very thick foundation but that is full coverage also 
and then i've just used a damp pity blender to spread out that foundation and then now what you're seeing me doing here is my concealer and uh, for concealer i'm using the maybelline fit me concealer that is the shade cafe 50 and uh, i'm just using it applying it directly under my eyes for brightening and also around my mouth just to brighten the area and also on my forehead just to brighten the area and i'm just going to use a brush first i always use two beauty tools for this step so that it can be thoroughly blended i use a brush first and then i go in with a damp beauty blender that way you get like a perfect finish and you don't get creases and then i will be applying a lighter shade of concealer and that is the rimmel kind and free concealer that's the shade tan that I've used for the second round of concealer and that contour shade is for contouring my nose so I am just going to dab it in again same steps as the first concealer dab it in with a brush and then with a beauty blender I have then proceeded to set my concealer because if you do not set your concealer it will end up creasing uh, in the cracks of your skin so what you do is that you just take a setting powder in this case I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me setting powder in the shade cappuccino take your setting powder and apply it all over the areas that you covered with your concealer and then for the Grinch eyeshadow the Grinch is green everywhere. Let's not forget about that. We are going to take a dark green eyeshadow and apply it in the outer corner of our eyelids. And then in the center and all over the eyelids, we will take another shade of green, which is also dark green. And I've just covered the entire eyelid with that dark green. I'd call it a medium green because the other one was darker that I applied on the outer corner. And then in the center, I'm applying, a, and in the inner corner, I've applied a light shade of green. So I've just gone with dark green on the outer corner, a medium green in the center, and then a very light green in the inner corner of the eye. So they're all shades of green. And then I'm taking this green, light green eyeliner, and I'm just lining my waterline. And then I'll go in with this dark green pencil eyeliner pencil and I'm just going to line my lower lid with it so the Grinch as you can see is full of green he's full of envy <laughs> okay sort of <laughs> yeah he's full of I mean green resembles envy so he's full of envy and then black um, is just for tight lining the waterline that black eyeliner I'm using is by Zaron Cosmetics and I'm just going to use it for tight lining my waterline. Now I'm just going to draw some frown lines. Because he's frowning. Clearly he's always frowning. The Grinch is always frowning. So those are just like frown lines that I'm drawing. And I'm just going to thicken the center of those lines. Just because we are the Grinch doesn't mean we don't have to look glam. This is makeup. So I'm using this She Glam blush. And that is the shade Love Cake. It's a very light pink shade. But I absolutely love it. So yeah. I'm just dabbing it in with that damp beauty blender. And then for the highlighter I'm using this Revlon. It's usually so hard to apply that Revlon highlighter stick and then after that we are going to draw morph we are going to go on to the frown lines again and just help create some dimension or depth to them
we're also going to draw his nose which is just like a round green circle So we've just drawn more angry lines on the cheeks and then we're going to do his lips which sort of look like animal lips so that's what I'm trying to do and yeah I guess I will see you at the end of the video to see the final look.